Remember the old car I started working on a couple of years ago? Not this one. Not this one either. I'm talking about the old Carmen Ghia. It's kind of my dream car. Something I wanted since I was a kid. And right out of the gate, I started doing a lot of work. I kind of ripped it in half and flipped part of it upside down. Made a whole lot of progress. And then honestly, stuff just got really hard. You haven't seen it in about a year, and during that time, people keep asking me, did you give up on the Karma Gia? So now, it's time to figure out what we can do next to move this thing forward. I started out by putting a whiteboard up in the shop and I made a list of things I've already accomplished and things I have yet to accomplish. So the bottom one has a lot of things left to accomplish. Basically what we're gonna do is start working on the body and I looked at this in two ways. So we've got kind of the top section and the bottom section. The top section's almost done. The bottom section needs a lot, so we're gonna wait on that. What I'm gonna do now is go around the entire top half of the car, mark all the body places that need metal, and then we're gonna fix those so we can put on primer. I knew you were gonna do <laughs> I made it around the top half of the car, and there's actually not that many spots, which is cool. I didn't mess with the bottom of the car, and we're gonna deal with that later. We'll talk about it later. It's a whole thing. Right now, let's start fixing some of these problems. I'm gonna do that in a few different ways. They're all gonna have to be handled a little differently. Let's start with the easy ones first. Okay, check out this cool helmet I got. It's a welding helmet and also a grinding helmet. It's actually really, really cool and not very expensive. So the first hole I'm gonna try to fix is using this thing. This is a copper sheet. When you try to weld steel wire onto this, it won't stick to it, but this gives you kind of a heat plate and a backing plate to be able to weld to. So you take this and you put it behind the hole, and then that gives you a surface that you can weld onto. The wire will go into that hole and connect to the steel around it and theoretically fill that hole. Oh no, welding. Uh, it needs one more little spot. Whoa, still welding. Not the best, but I did get it filled, so let's grind. Steel! One less hole. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so we've done some welding. I'm gonna try something different for some of these and let me show you why. On this little section, we've got like a curved surface that comes up, it goes down at a sharp angle and then smooths out. Eventually there's gonna be a rubber strip in here so this doesn't have to be very pretty. And the top surface is in all right shape, but basically I need to fill those little holes down inside there. And so I'm gonna try something I've tried once before and it's to use an epoxy. It bonds to the metal and it's sandable. So for small things like this that would be more difficult than worth it to fabricate, I'm gonna to try to fill them instead. Getting your Bob Ross on over here. Get it because your name is Bob. <laughs> what? Hmm, that stuff's pretty thin. Let's give it a shot. Oh, with the camera? Yeah. <laughs> so that stuff's really thin. Oh. Okay, there we go. Ah, it's still uneven. Oh my goodness, that's not working at all. Let's start over here. Well, this is how you waste a whole lot of stuff. All right. This one's definitely thicker. No, this one's five minutes. Oh, it's like brown. So this is a totally different one, a different kind of problem to solve. This is the headlight and it needs to be very smooth up here. But basically I'm gonna cut a piece and try to replicate this curve and then use that final piece that I have as a template to cut out a hole for it to go in. I think it will be pretty similar to the stuff I did on the side panels, but I've never done it on a curve. 
So take a piece of this steel. Let's see, we could probably do a tiny little scrap like this might work. Oh yeah, that would totally work. So I'm gonna use a hammer and try to knock that down to match and then I'll trim it so it's as small as possible. Let's see, I wonder if I could just, no, I'm not gonna use the farty saw. I've got this thing marked where I'm gonna cut it out and I have to use this to cut out this really small area because my compressor is broken, I'm waiting on a part, and that means all of my air tools that I would normally use that are smaller are not working. So this may actually make it worse. Perfect. I really don't have a... Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna have to wait on that until the compressor's fixed. That's all right, there's plenty of other stuff to fix. Got him! I need a brush and a cup. And I am ill prepared. You got a snatch block. Snatch block, oh yeah, look, see? I am prepared. This thing has been sitting out here for uh, over a year, sandblasted, raw metal, and it's covered, but it's still getting like some surface rust on it. And before we put primer on it, I gotta take care of that. So I'm gonna try Rust Mort, uh, Mort. which is a solution that you paint right on and it converts the rust. And so after a few minutes, it should turn all of this rust into like a black surface that you can prime or paint right on top of. Paint a happy little tree. And that's what makes it fun. Statistically, I know that about 90% of the people watching this video are men. And a lot of times men are not encouraged to talk to somebody when they're having a hard time. I'm here to encourage you, no matter who you are, to talk to somebody if you're having a hard time, whether it's a big deal or a small deal. Luckily, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists here to help you. Now this works out really well because it's all online. All you have to do is go to the website, fill out a little bit of information about you, what your needs are, and they will match you up with a therapist. From there, you can schedule therapy sessions any way and any time that you want. You can do it over text or chat or phone or video call on your own schedule. And then after you've talked to that therapist for a while, if you realize that it's not a good fit, you can match up with a different therapist for free. When I was growing up, my mom was a marriage and family therapist, and I saw firsthand how her work was able to improve the lives and relationships of lots and lots of people. Just having somebody experienced there to help you through hard things is key to making improvements in your life. If you would like to check that out, just go to betterhelp.com, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash I-L-T-M-S, or hit the link down in the description. Either way, you're gonna get 10% off your first month of therapy. There are people in your life that depend on you. So go get the help that you need so you can be awesome for them. Big thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Probably. Now I have to be careful not to drop this tiny little piece down in this tiny little hole that I won't be able to get to. <laughs> we just hot, hot glue it on and you're good to go? Yeah, just something like duct tape across the top here. All right, it's close. It's the corners. Professional tape. <laughs> take off that, take off that. Shut up, bird. close. The hammer. Oh man. Oh, ooh, ooh, wait. I think that. Okay, stay. Done. That's my new hood ornament. It's just gonna hold that there. Off oh, center. What's that? Rust treatment. But it's not good for welding or painting, so I don't want to get it on the surface that I have to weld. Well, Hello. I tried. <laughs> ah, burned through. Oh no. Ah, I bet it messed up the wire. So the wire I'm using is so thin because it's for sheet metal. It's also very weak. And so if there's any resistance to the wire coming out, then it like 
pushes back on it and bends it up inside the machine. So you end up with this. And the only way to fix that is to cut it off, pull all of the wire out of the entire thing here. So you lose a lot of wire and then just rerun it. So this problem, I mean, it's just part of using a thin wire, but it wastes a lot. I'm kind of like having to stop myself knowing that there's gonna be a ton of body filler on this thing anyway. So like I don't really have to make it super flush because I'm gonna be adding a bunch of body filler. I think. I don't know. Ah! The last big gaping hole in the top half of the car is right here and it's in a really strange spot. It's where curves go in all directions and so I really need to cut this out and put in a patch, but I'm not sure how to do it. So I'm just gonna start with a rectangular piece of steel and then kind of cut it down and hit it with a hammer until I can get something that kind of works in there. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's just give it a shot. Gravity. Close your eyes. Yeah. Why is the steel so hard? All right, let's start with that. I got it at shop.ilikeTomakeStuff.com. I guess I don't have to yell because I have a microphone on. I got it at shop.ilikeTomakeStuff.com. <laughs> I don't want to carry this over there. This, I don't think this is going to work. Mainly because I just don't know how to do it. So I wonder if it might just be easier to Party saw Party it is. Saw. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Done. So I can tack a couple of spots and then hammer the other loose spots down to meet it. That's what I should have done on the other one. Oh, that one broke off. So. Welding. Okay, now I'm just gonna weld a whole bunch more. Woo! I think it's good. Finally, I think I have all of the major holes, uh, the metalworking type stuff from about here up all the way around, which is really, really cool. And I also went and painted on all of that, that like rust mort rust stuff all the way around and it seemed to work pretty well. Um, it's definitely going to take some sanding, but I'll get to that before I can prime. And also before I can start putting on primer, I have one more piece on the inside, actually two pieces that I want to completely cut out and replace. And I got these new replacement pieces all the way from Germany. So these sections right here uh, connect to the floor and they are very, very gone. So I found a guy in Germany that actually hand makes these pieces, replacement pieces, but basically you can just tear off these welds, put in the new pieces, and then weld them in place and you're good to go. What just happened? I went to put these on and they broke in half. Harbor Freight? Harbor Freight. Let's see how loud it is. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was surprising. All right, how do I do this without shooting myself in the face? <laughs> All right, that's it, except for the other side. All 
All right, sanding is all done, but there's dust on this thing, so I'm gonna use a tack cloth and try to get it ready so I can spray primer on it. But while I'm doing that, I realized that I never actually told you why I haven't been out here for a year. Basically, my daily driver, <laughs> it's getting really loud. Basically, my car, my white Land Cruiser, my daily driver, dumped all of its motor oil, seized the engine, and completely died a year ago. So since then, we've been kind of like a one car family, family of six with one vehicle. It's made it really difficult to get out here. And my green cruiser has been difficult. It's hard to get it to run consistently, so I can't rely on getting it out here. So basically, it's just been hard to get out here and do the work. And now I have the green cruiser just about working consistently. And so I can get out here more often to do work. And that's why this thing is finally moving along. So I'm trying out this crazy 3M spray gun. It's kind of a less expensive way to spray stuff and a lot of the parts are consumable. You can wash them out or you can cheaply replace the tips and the cups. I've never used it before, but we're gonna give it a shot. Another thing I've never done is spray epoxy primer. It's a two part mixture we're gonna mix up in that cup. Then we're gonna spray it on a small section, see how it goes. And if it works, then we'll just do small batches and spray the different parts of the car. There we go. Give it a shot. That's cool. It's crazy how much of a difference that makes. I mean, I still have a ton of body work to do on this thing, but it looks a lot better. But before I get to the body work, I gotta deal with this. Welding. That burned right through. Ah! Burnt your glove. Look at that. Right in between my fingers. That's where it burnt me. A lot. I'm about to sneeze. Oh my gosh. My nose is itching. Here, I think I have a tissue in my pocket. Gross. 